Gilead Sciences, Inc., commonly known as Gilead Sciences or Gilead, also styled Gilead, is an American biotechnology company that researches, develops and commercializes drugs. The company focuses primarily on antiviral drugs used in the treatment of HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and influenza, including Harvoni and Sovaldi. Headquartered and founded in Foster City, California, Gilead is a member of the NASDAQ Biotechnology Index and the S&P 500. Topic History. Topic Foundation Gilead Sciences was founded in June 1987 by Michael L. Reardon, a medical doctor who was 29 years old at the time. Reardon graduated from Washington University in St. Louis, the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine and the Harvard Business School. Three core scientific advisors worked with Reardon to create the company and establish its scientific vision. These were Peter Durvan of Caltech, Doug Melton of Harvard, and Harold Weintraub of the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. Reardon served as CEO from inception until 1996. Menlo Ventures, a venture capital firm where Reardon worked for a year, made the first investment in Gilead, of $2 million, and Menlo's partner Dubose Montgomery served as chairman of the board until 1993, when Reardon became chairman. Reardon also recruited as scientific advisors Harold Varmus, a Nobel laureate who later became director of the National Institutes of Health, and Jack Shostak, recipient of the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 2009. The company's primary therapeutic focus was, and continues to be, in antiviral medicines, a field that interested Reardon because he contracted dengue fever, an untreatable viral disease, while working in malnutrition clinics as a Henry Luce scholar in the Philippines. Reardon recruited Donald Rumsfeld to join the board of directors in 1988, followed by Benno C. Schmidt Sr., Gordon Moore, and George P. Schultz. Reardon tried to recruit Warren Buffett as an investor and board member, but was unsuccessful. Under the technical leadership of scientist Dr. Mark Matucci, the company focused its early discovery research on making small strands of DNA oligomers to assess the potential of genetic code blockers gene therapy. Its development of small molecule antiviral therapeutics began in 1991 when CEO Reardon and R&D head John C. Martin in licensed a group of nucleotide compounds discovered in two European academic labs. One of the compounds was tenofovir, a pro-drug of which, trade named Verid, became one of the most widely used antiretroviral drugs. 1990–1999, IPO In 1990, Gilead entered into a collaborative research agreement with Glaxo for the research and development of genetic code blockers, also known as antisense. This collaboration was terminated in 1998, and Gilead's Antisense intellectual property portfolio was sold to Ionis Pharmaceuticals. Gilead debuted on the NASDAQ in January 1992. Its initial public offering raised $86.25 million in proceeds. 
In June 1996, Gilead launched Vistide Cytofavir injection for the treatment of cytomegalovirus CMV retinitis in patients with AIDS. The company cooperated with Pharmacia and Upjohn to market the product outside the United States. In January 1997, Donald Rumsfeld, a board member since 1988, was appointed chairman, but left the board in January 2001 when appointed United States Secretary of Defense at the start of George W. Bush's first term as president. In March 1999, Gilead acquired Nexstar Pharmaceuticals of Boulder, Colorado following two years of negotiations with the company. At the time, Nexstar's annual sales of $130 million was three times Gilead's sales. Nexstar's two revenue-generating drugs were Ambisom, an injectable fungal treatment, and Donoxum, an oncology drug taken by HIV patients. Also in 1999, Roche announced first approval of Tamiflu for the treatment of influenza. Tamiflu was originally discovered by Gilead and licensed to Roche for late phase development and marketing. Varid achieved first approval in 2001 for the treatment of HIV. Topic: 2000 to 2009. In 2002 Gilead changed its corporate strategy to focus only on antivirals, and sold its cancer assets to OSI Pharmaceuticals for $200 million. In December 2002, Gilead and Triangle Pharmaceuticals announced that Gilead would acquire Triangle for around $464 million. Triangle's lead drug was emtricitabine that was near FDA approval, and it had two other antivirals in its pipeline. The company also announced its first full year of profitability. Later that year Hepsera was approved for the treatment of chronic hepatitis B, and Emtriva for the treatment of HIV. In 2004, Gilead launched Truvada, a fixed-dose combination of tenofovir and emtricitabine. In 2006, Gilead completed two acquisitions that allowed the company to branch out from its historical antiviral franchise into the cardiovascular and respiratory therapeutic arenas. Under an agreement with GlaxoSmithKline, Myogen marketed sodium in the United States for the treatment of primary pulmonary hypertension. Additionally, Myogen was developing in phase 3 studies Daruzentin, also an endothelin receptor antagonist, for the potential treatment of resistant hypertension. In 2006, the company acquired Chorus Pharma, Inc. for $365 million. The acquisition of Chorus signaled Gilead's entry into the respiratory arena. Chorus was developing as Trianam lysine for the treatment of patients with cystic fibrosis who are infected with Pseudomonas aeruginosa. In July 2006, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA approved a tripla, a once-a-day single-tablet regimen for HIV, combining Sustiva efavirans, a Bristol-Myers Squibb product, and Truvada and Tenofovir disoproxyl, a Gilead product. 
Gilead purchased Raylo Chemicals, Inc. in November 2006 for a price of $133.3 million. Raylo Chemical, based in Edmonton, Alberta, was a wholly owned subsidiary of Degusa AG, a German company. Raylo Chemical was a custom manufacturer of active pharmaceutical ingredients and advanced intermediates for the pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical industries. Later in the same year Gilead acquired Myogen, Inc. for $2.5 billion then its largest acquisition. With two drugs in development Ambrosentin and Deruzentin, and one marketed product Flolan, for pulmonary diseases, the acquisition of Myogen has solidified Gilead's position in this therapeutic arena. Gilead expanded its move into respiratory therapeutics in 2007 by entering into a licensing agreement with Perion for an epithelial sodium channel inhibitor for the treatment of pulmonary diseases, including cystic fibrosis, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and bronchiectasis. In 2009, the company acquired CV Therapeutics, Inc. for one point. $4 billion, bringing Renexa and Lexascan into Gilead. Renexa is a cardiovascular drug used to treat chest pain related to coronary artery disease, with both of these products and pipeline building out Gilead's cardiovascular franchise. Later, in the same year the company received the award for one of the fastest growing companies by Fortune. In the same year they were also named as one America's top companies to work for by Forbes. Topic 2010 to 2019 In 2010, the company acquired CGI Pharmaceuticals for $120 million, expanding Gilead's research expertise into kinase biology and chemistry. Later that year, the company acquired Aresto Biosciences, Inc. for $225 million, obtaining developmental stage research for treating fibrotic diseases and cancer. In 2011, the company acquired Calistoga Pharmaceuticals for $375 million, $225 million plus milestone payments. The acquisition boosted Gilead's oncology and inflammation areas. Later that year, Gilead made its most important acquisition—and most expensive to date—with the $10.4 billion purchase of Pharmacet, Inc. This transaction helped cement Gilead as the leader in treatment of the hepatitis C virus by giving it control of Sofosbuvir see below. On July 16, 2012, the FDA approved Gilead's Truvada for prevention of HIV infection it was already approved for treating HIV. The pill was a preventive measure prep, for people at high risk of getting HIV through sexual activity. In 2013, the company acquired YM Biosciences, Inc. for $510 million. The acquisition brings drug candidate CYT387, an orally administered, once daily, selective inhibitor of the Janus kinase Jack family, specifically JAK1 and JAK2, into Gilead's oncology pipeline. The JAK enzymes have been implicated in myeloproliferative diseases, inflammatory disorders, and certain cancers. In 2015, the company made a trio of acquisitions 
It bought Phoenix Pharmaceuticals for $470 million. Its Farnesoid X receptor FXR program used small molecule FXR agonists in the treatment of liver diseases such as nonalcoholic steatohepatitis. It bought Epitherapeutics for $65 million. This acquisition gave Gilead first-in-class small molecule inhibitors of histone dimethylases involved in regulating gene transcription in cancer. It paid $425 million for a 15% equity stake in Galapagos NV, with additional payments for Gilead to license the experimental anti-inflammatory drug filgotinib, which may treat rheumatoid arthritis, ulcerative colitis, and Crohn's disease. In 2016, the company acquired Nimbus Apollo, Inc. for $400 million giving Gilead control of the compound NDI-01976 and ACC inhibitor and other preclinical ACC inhibitors for the treatment of non-alcoholic steatohepatitis and for the potential treatment of hepatocellular carcinoma. Also in 2016, the company was named the most generous company on the 2016 Fortune list of the most generous companies of the Fortune 500. Charitable donations to HIV, AIDS and liver disease organizations totaled over 440 million in 2015. In August 2017, the company announced it would acquire Kite Pharma for $11.9 billion, equating to $180 cash per share, a 29% premium over the closing price of the shares. The deal will add the promising CAR T candidate to the company's existing portfolio. In November, the company announced it will acquire Cell Design Labs for up to $567 million, after it indirectly acquired a stake of 12.2% via the Kite Pharma deal. Topic: Sovaldi and Harvoni. The drug Sofosbuvir had been part of the 2011 acquisition of Pharmacet. In 2013, the FDA approved this drug, under the trade name Sovaldi, as a treatment for the hepatitis C virus. Forbes magazine ranked Gilead its number four drug company, citing a market capitalization of $113 billion and stock appreciation of 100%, and describing their 2011 purchase of Pharmacet for $11 billion as one of the best pharma acquisitions ever. Deutsche Bank estimated Sovaldi sales in the year's final quarter would be $53 million, and Barron's noted the FDA approval and subsequent strong sales of the potentially revolutionary drug as a positive indicator for the stock. On July 11, 2014, the United States Senate Committee on Finance investigated Sovaldi's high price $1,000 dollars per pill, $84,000 for the full 12-week regimen. Senators questioned the extent to which the market was operating efficiently and rationally, and committee chairman Ron Wyden D. Oregon and ranking minority member Chuck Grassley R. Iowa wrote to CEO John C. Martin asking Gilead to justify the price for this drug. The committee hearings did not result in new law, but in 2014 and 2015, due to negotiated and mandated discounts, Sovaldi was sold well below the list price. 
For poorer countries, Gilead licensed multiple companies to produce generic versions of Sovaldi. In India, a pill's price was as low as $4.29. Gilead later combined Sovaldi with other antivirals in single pill combinations. First, Sovaldi was combined with Letapasvir and marketed as Harvoni. This treatment for hepatitis C cures the patient in 94% to 99% of cases HCV genotype 1. By 2017, Gilead was reporting drastic drops in Sovaldi revenue from year to year, not only because of pricing pressure but because the number of suitable patients decreased. Later single pill combinations were Epclusa with Velpadisvir and Vosevi with Velpadisvir and Voxaleprevir. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Finances. For the fiscal year 2017, Gilead Sciences Insurance reported earnings of $4.628 billion, with an annual revenue of $26.107 billion, a decline of 14.1% over the previous fiscal cycle. Gilead Sciences's shares traded at over $70 per share, and its market capitalization was valued at $93.4 billion in October 2018. <laughs> Prospects for the future As of 2017, Gilead's challenge is to develop or acquire new blockbuster drugs before its current revenue producers wane or their patent protection expires. Like other pharmaceutical companies, it stands to gain from efforts by U.S. President Donald Trump to repeal taxes imposed by the Affordable Care Act However, Gilead also benefited from the expansion of Medicaid in the ACA. Leering analyst Jeffrey Porges wrote that Gilead's HIV drugs could face funding pressure under reform proposals. Gilead has $32 billion in cash, but $27.4 billion is outside the U.S. and is unavailable for acquisitions unless Gilead pays U.S. tax on it, though it could borrow against it. Gilead would benefit from proposals to let companies repatriate offshore capital with minimal further taxation. Topic. Tax structures On 26 December 2018, The Times reported that Gilead had used the double Irish arrangement to avoid U.S. corporate taxes on non-U.S. profits, reporting that a U.S. pharmaceutical firm used a controversial tax loophole arrangement to shift almost €20 billion Euros in profits through an Irish entity in just two years. <laughs> Acquisition history Topic. See also Bomb of Gilead Gilead <laughs>